Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking foot birthdays today, because today we need to answer the question, are these players going to be viable and are we going to be able to invest in them? Some of you guys want to buy these for your teams. Some of you guys want to invest in them because you think they're going to rise out of packs, which is very, very viable. I do think they'll rise out of packs, but I want to talk about all this today because we've already had some big movements on these foot birthday cards um, since they've been put back into packs, all of them. Uh, and I want to talk about it a little bit. Today, we saw some massive, massive rise and falls already. Uh, there was some like weird panic this morning, early on Saturday, where we saw this lasagna, right? My boy lasagna was 110K this morning. He's now back up to 120. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about some of the other price fluctuations that we had and stuff that could be coming today in foot as well uh, that could maybe have some market implications depending on, of course, what EA decides to do. So let's take a look at some of these prices and start looking at cards individually. So speaking of panic that happened on Saturday uh, in the early morning, bail right now is 151. So he's getting back down there low again. And I was curious about these prices yesterday, but look what happened with bail. There was some sort of panic this morning and it happened on both consoles. I don't know what the reason for this was, but evidently people thought there was something coming today. I didn't see this coming, um, but bail was down to 148 and 128 on the Xbox and on the PlayStation. And he rose right back up, almost 100K back up after the Hulk SBC came out, which was not a ton of content. Uh, and then Hulk was, you know, one five highs most of the night. And now he's kind of dropping back down on the PlayStation 4 at least. The same thing happened to Lasagna. My man Lasagna was like 110K today, right around the 6 p.m. time frame, And then he rose back up. He's now coming back down a little bit. Uh, but look at what happened here. He was down to one one eighteen. There was one. There was a point today where he was one ten. There, there was. I, I remember seeing it. He was one ten at a point today, one fifteen, and now he's kind of back up. He was, he was literally uh, just one twenty six. I think there were some people that bought these cards today. I do think there was like a first round, maybe, of some people that had bought into some of these foot birthday cards and invested in them. One eighty seven for Decosta. This is getting low, man. This is getting low. I mean, today he was he was 190 this morning, 184. He rose from 184 in the mid-morning to, to, to 198. So if I see this guy back under 180, um, I'm going to be pulling the trigger. But today is our buy day for these. Like, it's kind of our last day. If you want to buy one of these for your team, if you just want to buy them to invest in them because you think they're going to rise out of packs, which I think they will, I want to talk about the demand for these cards ju just for a little bit. There are so many people on this game. I've had so many questions in my live streams, uh, on my videos, the comments down below asking, yo, when is going to be the best time to buy these players? Cause I need X and Y person for my team. That tells me there's a lot of people that want to buy these. That also tells me I like the possibility of these cards rising out of packs, unless EA drops some sort of big time SBC. I think it's very possible that we'll see a nice rise on a lot of these packs. And again, who do you want to invest in? I talked about this yesterday. I talked about this yesterday in my video. If it rose once, it'll rise again. Cancelo was 240K on Friday. He's now back down to 200K. I'm a fan of him in the mid 190s. If you see like 195 this morning, for some of these guys, you might just have to set a price and it's more about a price than a time, right? Uh, Havertz, if Havertz hits 325, um, I'm going to be pulling the trigger on that card. If this Lucas Hernandez gets literally any lower, if I see like 270, I'm going to pull the trigger on that one. Um, again, for a lot of these cards, if you pick out the few that you want to buy, set a price, don't set a time. Because when it hits that price, you just pull the trigger and you think, okay, Lucas Hernandez was 318K. He was actually, if you could have seen the hourly graphs um, on Thursday and Friday, which I don't think we can see. He's 335 but he kind of went down. He was actually sold, he sold at 340 on Friday, and now he's back down to 280, 270. So if I see this guy at 270K, I'm pulling the trigger because he's easily going to go back to 300,000 coins, and you're you're making a little bit there, and I would expect him to go back over anyway. Considering this is a very popular French card, I like the price on that one, and I like the po potential for him to rise um, out of set one. I like set one a little more than set two, to be honest, just because I think it has more hype and more people want to use these cards in their teams, but I do think there will be cards in set two that will rise. So let's talk about time for today. Let's talk about timing for today on these cards. Let's say you want to buy Di Maria for your team. 
you want to buy Angel Di Maria's new card, who was 800k flat this morning in the panic sell. It was crazy. This guy got really, really low this morning uh, in whatever panic selling was happening before 6 p.m. UK on Saturday. He's now 850. Let's say you want to buy this guy for your team, right? If you see like 825 for this again, if he goes back to 800, great. Um, but the time to buy these cards is either going to be in the panic selling before, if there's panic selling before 6 p.m. today on Sunday, watch out for that. And then if there's a big SBC at 6 p.m. UK today, then you could possibly watch for panic selling then if people are going to go out and do that SBC. Now, what types of SBCs would spark a panic on the market right away? Um, a type of SBC would be something that was a major, major upgrade and it's good value, right? This Hulk SBC could have been awesome today if they would have given him a five-star weak foot or five-star skills and given him probably the foot birthday card design and made the SBC an 85 rated instead of 86 or, you know, maybe even 84 rated. Um, if we get an SBC today that is good value, that is going to fit into a lot of people's teams, so it's French, Brazilian, it's from a top five league, either La Liga, Prem, or Bundesliga most likely, or if it's a repeatable type of upgrade SBC, um, then that would be a cause for some panic on the market. I don't think that one is as likely. For a lot of these foot birthday cards, I think your buy time is seriously going to be Sunday morning and even tonight as you're watching this video like that Lucas Hernandez I talked about if I saw 270 K for this card I might be pulling the trigger and I think I will pull the trigger if I see 270 for him and he's really close to that price tonight so I'm going to keep an eye on him because he might hit that price tonight so you know again set a price for the cards that you want to look at look at open bids it's the end of the weekend league some people might be using these cards and, and shipping them out because they want to get their coins liquid like right here Lucas Hernandez, 256. I'm going to maybe keep an eye and see where that one goes and look for some other open bids and, and try to snag an open bid if I can uh, on some of those. That's one thing to look out for as well. So either look this morning and or during like right after that 6 p.m. UK content drop time. That's when I would say might be your best time to go. A lot of people might wait until squad battles. To me, I think it's going to be too late. By the time you get to squad battles, you're probably going to see some of these cards start to rise in price already. I think Van Dyke's actually going to do fantastic out of packs uh, because of it's just Van Dyke. His card looks to be pretty rare. And um, if I could set this filter correctly, I could show you his price. He's he's dipped down a lot. He was like selling at 1.5 first day. And right now, I think he's 1.1 or he was 1.2. 119 is what Flippin says. But I mean, this guy at like 1.1 flat or 1.15, if he goes down another extra bit, could be a buy for me. There's a big difference. Again, I've talked about this Van Dyke. There's a big difference between this card price and his team of the year. So I feel like this one can rise up a couple hundred K just because that, that price is so is so massive. And this one does have a five-star weak foot, which isn't insane, but it's, I mean, maybe it will help you pass out of the back a little bit with Van Dyke. And it's just the new hype promo that's in foot right now. So watch the cards today and watch the cards uh, earlier on because I want you guys to be early. It's better to be early than to be late to an investment, in my opinion, in this scenario. In this scenario, we have so many people that are just, you know, they've got the sniper down and they're looking at these foot birthday cards down the scope and they want to buy them, right? They've, they're watching the prices and they've been told a to buy time tonight during, um, during squad battle rewards, there's going to be supply on the market. Wow, 2.184 for Pugba. Are you serious? 2.2. Man, that card's going to rise in my opinion. It's the only special version of Pugba in this game. Very good in game. Slight flex, I have him in my team and tradable. But I think this card's going to rise. But anyways, there's so many people that are lined up to buy these cards. If you get in earlier, it oftentimes means you get more profit. Instead of trying to time it, again, set that buy price. Let's say I set a buy price for Lucas Hernandez, right? Let's say I go Lucas Hernandez again at 270. I'm a fan there at 270K. Let's say all of a sudden he's at 270K flat when I wake up. And, um, and he, you know, he, I'm, I could have bought for 5 or 10K cheaper, right? In the long run, it's not going to matter because I know this guy is probably going to end up being over 300,000 coins again in the next couple of weeks. So that's fine for me. It's fine for me that I didn't get the actual absolute lowest buy price by 5K or 10K. Um, because it's going to continue to rise up. Same thing with like a bail, right? If you really want bail for your team. I mean, this guy's 1-5 right now, isn't he? Is that correct? 1-5-2? One, 1-5-2. One, 
let's say he gets back down to the one five flat overnight tonight when you're watching this video and you're like, yo, I'll set a buy price at one four seven five. Boom, you snag him, all right? And then you see one pop up for one four five, but then two weeks later, he's back to one six. You're feeling good about it, right? So again, don't don't worry about missing out on five or 10,000 coins in the moment um, or even, even like two or 3% on the card, right? Or a small undercut. Don't worry about mess, missing out on some of that because if you buy too late, if everybody's got those cards down their scopes, they're ready to buy them for their team or to invest in, they're gonna rise quickly because if there's no content that comes out tomorrow or it's just an overpriced SBC, then you're gonna see stuff start to rise because people are gonna have nothing to do but go and buy these cards. And there's gonna be a lot of people on foot going and telling people to buy into these cards as well. One guy I also wanna shout out, again, I think this card's gonna do very well out of packs. I'm interested in, in getting him uh, for the team and also as an investment, kind of like a, an investment in a card that I think is gonna rise out of packs. Again, the ways that you can check to see if a card's gonna be a good investment out of packs is you can go over here to Footbin, take a look at some of these cards and look at how many games played they have and also kind of remember their prices too, right? This Teo Hernandez has been an absolute rock in price. 400,000 coins and he hasn't moved much. This guy is going to rise out of packs absolutely guaranteed just because of the lack of French left backs that are available on the market. If I can see this guy at 375, which probably is going to be too low for him to go, even if you see 380, because this card does not budge, um, because of the consistent demand, I think this card will end up being 450,000 coins. He was 428 on Friday morning before he got released back into packs. Um, so if you see like 380 for this, that's a pull for me on PlayStation. Xbox price, 340 is not bad, to be honest. Uh, what was he today? Three, 340. Wow. So if I see like anything in the 330s, like low 330s on Xbox, I might consider pulling the trigger on a, on a Theo Hernandez there as well. But again, that's how you can figure out what that specific price is for you. Watch the ups and downs of some of these cards, the ones that you want to buy. DaCosta at 180 on Xbox is a full send for me. Um, or uh, excuse me, on PlayStation is a full send. On Xbox, I want to see like below 160. Is that possible? I think you might see some pop up at the low 160s and I'm really fine with that. Regardless, a lot of people are going to buy into these cards that could create a little bit of overinvesting but there's so many people that want to use these in foot. Um, I do think these cards will honestly just start rising up on Monday after they go out of packs. Uh, because on Monday, what's going to happen is as this promo kind of tails off and as we're headed out of this promo, a lot of these SBCs are going to start dropping off and they're not going to be available anymore. You know, one day remaining on Play of the Month Bruno, four days on Manolis, five days on Play of the Month Sancho. The mid icon is expiring on Friday. That's actually big for this game. Pope expires today on Sunday. Um, that's actually kind of big for this game because that means there's less stuff that people are going to be turning their fodder into. The Team of the Week upgrade goes away in a couple days. Once this mid icon goes away, that's going to be great for the market because it won't be sucking as many coins. High rated cards will actually re return to a more usable price range per se, and they won't be as inflated because this, this SBC causes a lot of demand for those cards. Um, so we'll see the return to the lower prices on those. Uh, but I just think that this market for the next week is not going to have a bunch to do. So they're going to be buying players to their teams, trying cards out, and, uh, you know, maybe completing some of these objectives. I mean, EA finally gave us an objective that we can do using foot friendlies. We haven't had like any objectives this year using these game modes. And this is kind of, it's a bit of a grind, but it's something in these game modes that they've had us do. It took them until April to utilize these new game modes. Um, but I mean, this is kind of cool. You have to assist in a goal. You have to score a goal. You can do this with a friend. If you want to get the hundred K pack really fast, if you're trying to get this, um, through, um, through foot birthday, if you want to have the hundred K pack available through foot birthday, so you can go into a friendly game. It doesn't affect your record, stamina, contracts, anything. And you can have somebody score a goal and then quit out and then reinvite. You can do it that way to keep grinding it, to get it quickly. But at least it's something to do in foot friendlies. And I hope they incorporate this mode um, again later on. I, I didn't mention that yesterday in the video when it came out, but I wanted to mention that today because I thought that was cool. I also want to mention what could happen today for content. Um, well, before that, I talk about Hulk. I'll say a few words about Hulk. I'm a fan. I was positive when this SBC came out today. I know the in-game stats, 80 agility and 65 balance are a glaring weakness. Throw a chemistry style on him. 
and enjoy the Brazilian legend Hulk. All right, that's what I have to say. I know we had a scream card, but this one is centrally positioned. It's an 86 rated squad, but the mid icon goes away in five days. This one's out for six days. Again, I think there's a possibility that once the mid icon goes away, this SPC might be 50K cheaper. It really could be 50K cheaper. Um, and then maybe you have some stuff that you get from Division Rivals Rewards as well that help you craft this. I'm gonna do Hulk because it's Hulk. I'm gonna do this because I'm a fan of this guy. It brings me back to memories of older FIFAs. Um, and I'm a fan of, you know, just Hulk and the Brazilian, right? I've got some Brazilian links in my team too that I could throw them in and try them out. So I'm gonna get this card. Um, Yes, I wish it was better. I wish they would have upgraded like his, his weak foot or his skill moves uh, to kind of bring some hype to that for like the foot birthday promo part of things. But it is what it is. Not a terrible card in my opinion. Craft it if you want to as well with, with the 80 plus upgrades. Again, foot birthdays go out of packs in one day, 13 hours. That's why we're talking about buying these um, because I do think they'll rise. I think most of all of them will rise just because they have so much demand right now in foot. Today's content on Sunday, they've done... I'm thinking back to like Chinese New Year for these kind of holidays that they don't make a promo out of. They've done stuff in foot. They've been all about the kits, the TFOs, and the objectives this year for like the smaller holidays, like St. Patrick's Day. Not smaller holidays, but you know what I mean. Kind of like the, uh, they don't make a promo out of it or there's nothing that's really centralized about it fully in foot. I would expect a pack SBC today, um, maybe a small untradeable pack for Easter. They could do something like Easter Bunny-esque or I don't know what they're going to do, but I would expect something for Easter today. I would possibly like expect a kit SBC or a kit objective with a TFO maybe thrown in um, and stuff like that. I, I don't think we'll get much more than that, though, pertaining to Easter in foot. Um, and, and maybe uh, an SBC today is what people were saying is possibly going to be coming out. Um, again, if an SBC comes out today, the market will only be affected if it's repeatable. If it's a good value player, that's that's literally, it's got to be a really, really good value player. And when I think about a good value player that changed the market earlier in this game, that altered the market a lot, I think of Scream PK. Who remembers what happened when Scream PK came out? Spanish players everywhere rose because so many people did that SBC because of the value and the type of card it was at that point in the game. If EA can somehow replicate that tomorrow, then we'll see some market movements and we might see some of these foot birthdays drop a bit more. But... If we don't, then I think we're just going to see these cards start to rise as they go out of packs on Monday. And again, a lot of stuff is lowest on Saturday night and Sunday anyway. So if you're looking around the market, check out some of these team of the weeks. And this is the usual time when I'm looking through, at least last, last week I did this and I'm considering doing it this week as well. Looking through some of these teams and noticing prices that are low, noticing weekend league sell off and buying into it, especially this week where we're not going to have a promo going on. Atal, 669, that's down. Mertens, 251, that's down. Um, noticing some of these prices when they get lower and picking up on some of that post weekend league sell off. What is uh, Ikone, 246, that's low. Malin, 105, he's dropping. Watch the weekend league sell off on some of these cards because it will be buyable. It might not be as crazy as last week, but it should be profitable later into next week if we buy these cards earlier rather than later. Just, uh, just a thought. Something you, you can do elsewhere today on foot is possibly pick up some investments for those as we head out of the weekend league and into another week of FIFA Ultimate Team. So that's my thoughts on foot birthday cards. That's my thoughts on if you can buy them, when you can buy them. Okay, so that Hernandez went for 276. 276 is what that Lucas Hernandez went for. So I'm gonna try to get some of these around 270 if I can. Uh, I think that's a pretty good buy. It's one of the best ones out of this set in my opinion. Out of all the cards that are out right now, I think, you know, and the prices that I'm seeing, I like this guy because he's French. And again, look. Whoa, 273. You know what? I'm going to start my investing right there. 273 for Teo Hernandez is going to go to the transfer list. And boom, there's the first one that I got. So low 270s, I'm a fan because again, there's only 15K tax on that card. And how much supply does he have until 300K? This is one thing you can do too when you're figuring out what card to invest in. At 300,000 coins, my dude only has... Six pages of supply. That's not a lot for a 300K card. That is not a lot, especially with him going out of packs um, literally in two days. So that's kind of how I feel about this one. Now, don't everybody, don't go and buy T Lucas Hernandez. And I don't want to see his price 300K in the morning because I told you to buy this card, all right? I set a price. I'm telling you the method and I used him as an example, all right? You could buy him, 
Make sure you get him in that low 270s range though, okay? Look around other foot birthdays. They will be viable as well. A lot of these are going to rise out of packs. Again, if it rose once, it'll rise again. Use that motto for investing in some of the foot birthday team of the week one, and then use the meta, you know, your meta knowledge for investing in team of the week or foot birthday set too. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.